Hi guys, it can be very difficult to know if somebody is a prank caller or a real one. As politics has become so polarised and messed up, reality and reason have gone completely out of the window. So a lady phoned into Ali Mirage's radio show claiming to be a left-wing Brexiter who doesn't trust Keir Starmer. She told the host that she was a lifelong Labour voter but switched to the Tories in 2019 to get Brexit done. Now she doesn't believe Starmer when he says that he's not interested in rejoining the EU. Have a listen to this. Um, I have very clear opinions about this, Sally, but I don't think you'll agree with them, or oh, why ahead. should you anyway? Go ahead. I am a left-wing Brexiter. I make no apology for that. I voted Labour all my life until I had no uh, alternative than to vote Tory. I don't like this government. I don't like what it's doing for the most part. But people like me who still believe in Brexit, and I think a lot of people do, uh, will find this next election very difficult. Starmer, when he moves his mouth, I hear Tony Blair. OK, before we continue, so what did we unfortunately we don't get to find out why she voted for brexit she was a lifelong labor voter and she switched to the tories in 2019 and she supports brexit and she still supports brexit but she doesn't like the government so you voted for the tories in 2019 why what was your motivation if it was to, to get Brexit done, then you also had to understand that you were sending Boris Johnson back into number 10. What were you expecting him to do? Who was being rehabilitated on the radio this morning, as you know, with David Lammy. Won three uh, elections, reason, Christine. Won, th won three elections. Sorry, say again. He won three elections. He did indeed. And then he, then we came to Iraq. That's true. So, yep. You know, um, I could also say in his favour, uh, we also had Kosovo. But anyway, that's going off down another avenue. But when I hear Starmer and this new poster campaign, um, I think there is, number one, uh, the sort of kind of dirty tricks that Campbell wouldn't blink at now because he's become so embittered as a Remainer. I think... So, Alistair Campbell is involved in some sort of dirty tricks because of Brexit? This is some sort of revenge over Brexit? It's not about getting the Tories out, it's about stopping Brexit? <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Because Mandelson, who's come back from being an EU commissioner and is now kicking around in the background. I think, of course, of Tony Blair. And I also think of Lord Adonis, who put out the, the tweet last year of if Boris goes, Brexit goes. Now, Are you worried about that, like Christine? Are you worried is... about that? Are you worried about that? Because the thing is, look, Starmer, just on the Brexit thing, and I don't want to digress too much because we're talking about the political attacks, but it is linked. I mean, on, on the Brexit thing, Starmer has made it unequivocally plain and clear that he is not going to upset parts of the Red Wall that turned away from the Labour Party because they wanted to vote for uh, Britain's withdrawal from the EU. Starmer knows that that issue is not going to be uh, opened up again right now. So is this a question of trust, Christine? Are you saying you don't trust Starmer saying that he's not going to uh, renege on the Brexit deal? Absolutely. I don't trust him further than I could throw Okay, him. fine. But what about... what about? Okay, and then they continue with the attack ads. Um, she doesn't trust Keir Starmer, but she did trust Boris Johnson. I can't get my head around that. <laughs> you, you trusted Boris Johnson to get Brexit done. He didn't get Brexit done. But if you still supported Brexit, then you trusted, I don't know, people like... Nigel Farage, Jacob Rees-Mogg. These are the people you trusted to get Brexit over the line. And then you voted for the Tories in 2019. A lot of this call doesn't make a lot of sense to me. 
But the fact that she doesn't trust Keir Starmer now because of what? Because he's misled people in the past. But then Boris Johnson misled people in the past, but you threw your support behind him in 2019. Now, when Keir Starmer says there's no case for rejoining the EU and the UK is not, and we have no plan to rejoin the EU, in a sense, it's political talk, but in a sense, it's correct because the UK can't rejoin the EU in the next parliament. The time is too short. The UK would have to realign, it would have to apply for membership. That would take time. It wouldn't happen within one parliament. It may not even happen within two parliaments. So what Starmer is saying is, of course, it's an attempt to keep the the, the voters like this one, well, she's lost, but voters like her on board. You know, you used to vote for the Labour Party. We want to win you back. We're not going to try and undo Brexit. We're not going to try and rejoin the EU. Um, obviously because it's not possible but at the moment but it's about uh, keeping these people quiet so that they feel more comfortable about returning to the Labour Party <laughs> but the fact that this caller says that she in a sense trusted Boris Johnson back in 2019 and at no stage said well you know we, I was conned by the Brexiteers like Boris Johnson, Jacob Rees-Mogg and others it's really strange to me. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.